On the path to AGI, the gains aren't just about productivity. It's about creating new possibilities. Section 1. The Gathering Storm. From Fear to Foresight. Imagine a phone call in the middle of the night. Close up. Unknown number. Phone ringing. The voice on the other end sounds exactly like your child, frantic and begging for help. They say they are in trouble and need money sent immediately. You can hear the panic in their tone, the familiar cadence of their speech, the way they say your name. Your heart races. Your first instinct is to do whatever it takes to help them. But the voice is not real. It is a perfect copy, generated by an AI to trick you. Section 2. What is Sora 2? The power in our hands. So what exactly is Sora 2? At its core, it is a new generation of artificial intelligence developed by OpenAI. It is not just one thing, it is a suite of powerful tools woven together into a single cohesive system. It can understand and generate text with stunning fluency, writing everything from complex legal documents, heartfelt poetry. It can create photorealistic images, video clips from simple text descriptions, conjuring scenes that never happened. It can listen to a person's voice for a few seconds, then replicate it, making it say anything you command. It can also analyze situations, devise multi-step plans, and write the code to execute them. This integration of different abilities is what makes it so revolutionary. Before, AI tools were specialists. One program could write an essay. Another could generate an image. A third might be able to analyze data. Sora 2 is different. It is more like a master workshop, capable of taking a simple idea and orchestrating a complex, multifaceted production. This is a level of automation and creative power we have never seen before in a widely accessible tool. This incredible efficiency is the tool's greatest promise and simultaneously the source of its most profound risks. Section 3. The First Danger. Misinformation that feels real. The most immediate and obvious danger of Sora 2 is its ability to manufacture convincing misinformation at an unprecedented scale. We are not just talking about fake news articles anymore. We are talking about a complete multimedia fabrication that looks entirely authentic, sounds entirely authentic, and feels entirely authentic. Imagine a video emerging during a tense election. It appears to be a raw news clip showing a political candidate making a racist remark backstage. Split screen, real politician, nearly identical deepfake, the video is slightly grainy, the audio imperfect, just like a real hidden camera recording. The candidate's face is perfect, the candidate's voice is perfect, the candidate's mannerisms are perfect. The clip goes viral in minutes, shared millions of times before any fact checker can even begin their analysis. This is not a hypothetical stretch, it is a direct capability of the technology. Sora 2 can generate not just the video but also the surrounding context. It can write dozens of eyewitness accounts on social media. It can create fake news articles from seemingly legitimate but non-existent outlets. It can even generate audio clips of experts discussing the event on a podcast. This creates a complete information ecosystem of falsehood. A web of lies so dense and internally consistent that it becomes nearly impossible for the average person to untangle to create a sense of where there's smoke, there's fire, before the truth has a chance to put on its boots. The consequences of this are chilling. While widespread misinformation threatens society, the power of Sora 2 to create deepfakes poses a deeply personal and violating threat to individuals. This technology can take a person's likeness and voice and place them in any situation, making them say or do anything the creator desires. The most well-known and vile application is the creation of non-consensual pornography, where individuals, overwhelmingly women, have their faces digitally grafted onto explicit material. This is not a prank, it is a profound form of psychological abuse and reputational violence that can inflict lasting trauma and ruin lives. Sora 2 makes this easier, faster, and more realistic than ever before. Beyond this horrific violation, the technology opens the door to a new era of sophisticated fraud and blackmail. Think back to the phone call scenario with a parent hearing their child's voice begging for money. Criminals can scrape a few seconds of audio from a social media video and use Sora 2 to generate a perfectly convincing replica of a person's voice. They can then call a family member or a colleague and stage a fake emergency, a car accident, a kidnapping, a sudden arrest, to swindle them out of thousands of dollars. 
One of the most significant concerns is in cybersecurity. The same capability that lets the AI write elegant prose and useful code can also be used to write malicious code, viruses, ransomware, other cyber attacks. It can help bad actors probe for vulnerabilities in software and networks at a speed and scale human defenders will struggle to match. A lone, semi-skilled hacker could use Sora 2 as a force multiplier, enabling attacks once reserved for state actors. Sora 2 can craft perfectly fluent, personalized, context-aware phishing messages by the thousand. At the same time, this automation threatens to widen the economic divide. Many jobs involving routine information processing can now be performed by AI, risking displacement without robust retraining and social support. The benefits may concentrate among AI owners, creating a dangerous concentration of power over information, the economy, and public discourse. It is tempting to dismiss the alarms around Sora 2 as just another cycle of tech panic. After all, we have weathered disruptive technologies before. Photoshop allowed for image manipulation, synthesizers allowed for artificial sounds. The answer lies in the convergence of three key factors, quality, scale, integration. Previous AI-generated content was often clunky and easy to spot. Sora 2 has largely crossed that threshold. Its outputs are frequently indistinguishable from human-created content. The voices it generates carry emotional nuance. The videos it creates have realistic lighting, shadows, and physics. A single person using Sora 2 can generate more content in an hour than a team could in a week. They can orchestrate a symphony of deception, overwhelming any manual fact-checking. Finally, Sora 2 is not just a text generator or an image creator, it is all of these things at once, packaging deception end to end. The picture I have painted is urgent, but it is not hopeless. Fear paralyzes, but foresight empowers. We have a window of opportunity to act, to build the social infrastructure, to build the technical infrastructure needed to manage this powerful technology responsibly. The solution is not to ban AI or halt progress, the solution is to move forward with intention, guided by a clear set of principles and practical actions. This requires a coordinated effort from all of us. Individuals, technology companies, our elected leaders. We must not panic, we must plan, and we must act now. The goal is not to stifle innovation, but to build guardrails that ensure technology serves humanity, not the other way around.